All right, guys. He said the trait. So, um, apparently it's in a Trello. You know, um, I was kind of surprised. Was wasn't looking at it, <laughs> but it's like something here. Yeah, that's traits. I'll leave the Trello in the description if you want to look at the Trello. But yeah, here's like the list of traits. Comforting gives regens. Okay, more HP after a wave. Oh, okay. It doesn't passively regen. That's fine, I guess. Apex, 5% more damage buff, 5% reduce. I feel like that's what that would be the best one because it gives you damage buff, and that's what a lot of people care, or I, at least I care about, you know. And then there's durable, 2.5 damage reduce. Okay. There's speeds, increased slight, increased passive walk speed, single. Tra I don't know what it means by single trait, but. Okay, I mean. Yeah, um, that's cool, I guess. And then lifesteal. Ooh, lifesteal sounds good. If you're, like, in unlimited or something and you don't have a healer, that would be really good, actually. <gasps> Godly. Ooh, 8% damage buff. It doesn't really say, like, I, I, I don't know if it says the chance, or is it, like, one out of, like, how many is this? One, two, three, four, six. I think there's nine. Okay, so nine. I don't know if it's 1 out of 9 or something, but... Godly sounds great. Sturdy, reduce 10% damage, and gives reduced walk speed. That's not good. I mean, what are you trying to do? Like, tank an entire wave or something? Probably, you probably don't want to do that, but... Bloodless seems like the most useless, though. It says increase walk speed for 0.5 seconds after every kill. That's the most useless one, actually. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, that's really sad, but reflect reflection sounds great actually. One four chance to reflect any damage, single trait, right? So reflection, godly, lifesteal, and maybe apex would be like the best I wanna say. So yeah, you guys good luck getting it getting it, because like I think you can get it by using fifty K. Or over here it says after upgrading unit to level eighty you have the option to unlock new trait. Some traits only affect the character you're currently playing, while other passively affect the rest of the team. Oh. It does that? What does that then? Um, Don't know, but sounds great. You can just have like different traits character and just buff each other. And at most, you can like have... How many is that? Um, wow, actually, you can have like 24% damage buff. That's actually insane if you have that kind of... 24% is a lot, you know? Um, yeah. If that's a thing, but... It's a single trait, so I'm not sure what single trait mean. Probably means that it only affects the unit that you have it on. I'm not sure, because... You know, it doesn't really say that much, but... That's interesting, you guys got a lot getting traits, you know? Um... Yeah, it says going to level 80 here, but... At like, um, it, it, I think I have the game open, guys. Um, can I move it? Oh god, I have the screen a little bit smaller than usual, but... Okay, if you go over here to... You know, if you, if you don't know this already, but... The traits, it says... Over here, you know, you need like 50k gold to unlock it. So I guess you could either have like the option to get to level 80... To unlock the tray or like you buy it early isn't it better just to level up but unless you just want to actually unless you just want a team of passive so like passive trade just to buff each other that's good too all right well you know you guys have fun you know good luck getting trades i'm gonna head out for the day bye bye